Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time on a flashlight radio by Miko. Now I was contacted by this company. They have an Amazon store and comes in this box. We'll kind of go over some of the specifics. It does have hand crank and solar power charging options so you can charge the internal battery and it also has of course a weather band radio as well as AM and FM and it has a USB output so you can charge your cell phone uh, via the solar powered or hand crank or the battery that's internal so let's wait no further and let's open this up and see what's in some cords in here that are kind of tight okay so here's the USB adapter so you can charge your cell phone or any device that's small of course comes with a micro charging cable and it also comes with a and it does come with a user manual sheet here Let's go ahead and take a look at the flashlight here. Now this has a rubberized coating on it. Makes it uh, for less slippage. Now here's the rechargeable battery is replaceable. and we'll show you the charging port it's got three LEDs in here and this is the solar power and this is the crank here or you can crank this clockwise or counterclockwise it doesn't matter so let's go ahead and turn on the flashlight portion of it and for emergency use this is better than absolutely nothing looks like it's probably about 15 20 lumens which is not bad does have a little bit of a spill there alright so and uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the radio portion of it. it does have an antenna here that you can use to help dial in And I'm using the weather band right now, just checking it out here. Does have an indicator when the station is dialed in. It's got some nice sound to it, uh, definitely made for more of a talk, not, uh, I don't think it's really made too much for music, but in any case, we'll go ahead and try to get a station on the FM. So 
So that's the FM. So it's able to see that signals coming in there. Sounds like a pretty good signal. Well, that's not bad. So now we'll go ahead and try the AM here. After allegations of workplace misconduct have come to light. Sports Center All Night ESPN Radio, Wednesday, a big day for collegiate sports. So the radio seems to work pretty good. Of North Carolina in basketball. Meanwhile, Wednesday was also the start of the early national signing period for football. Cole Kublik from the SEC All Network. All right. We're going to turn it back on the weather band. In South Lake Tahoe, it was clear. Temperature 21. And I definitely will be using it for the weather radio. It's nice to have a little portable unit like this. North wind at three miles an hour. And then you go ahead, these buttons rotate to be able to dial this in, which is really easy. And you can turn that on, it makes a clicking noise. All right. So as far as the solar powered, now according to the manual, you'd have to leave it out there for about three to four hours to charge uh, the battery that's built into this. And uh, you should be able to get um, maybe a partial charge. I don't think it's strong enough to do a full charge on your cell phone. But it'll definitely give you some emergency uh, usage should your cell phone die. You could actually use this to be able to power up your phone to make a few emergency phone calls. Uh, and then you would have to stick this back out in the uh, sunlight or you could have to hand crank this. So it's uh, all in all, this is really easy. This has a little indicator there when you're charging. And they say if you're turning this at a decent speed for up to, I believe it's three minutes, you can get up to 15 minutes of radio time. Um, as far as charging a phone after that, I'm not too sure. Probably have to crank it quite a bit more. Uh, but in any case, that's a neat little option to be able to charge that via the crank. Um, all in all, not too bad of a product. It doesn't feel... Uh, too cheap. Uh, it does feel like it's rugged enough with this uh, rubberized uh, coating on here. So definitely more of a uh, rugged feel to it. Um, so as far as the flashlight, I'm not going to do any nighttime shots with it. Um, it's not really bright enough to, uh, to do this type of uh, testing. But in any case, this is going to provide some pretty decent lighting should you ever need it in an emergency um, it's definitely better than nothing okay final thoughts um, this clearly does what it's stated that it does clearly um, you can use it as a weather radio which is important uh, in times of an emergency the flashlight is always a plus the radio on this uh, has a, a decent sound for talking not really too much of a a music sounding system but in any case definitely good for your emergency usage uh, flashlight will come in handy now according to the specifications the, the flashlight will run about three hours um, on this internal battery and of course you would have to charge it again via the solar powered um, or the hand crank. Now also, the, just before I forget, you can charge the unit via USB um, and have it as a backup ready to go uh, should you ever need it in an emergency. So I hope you enjoyed this Miko flashlight radio review. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of products to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.